Hello, my name is Monica Bernarek and I work at the Department of Linguistics at the University of Sydney. This screencast belongs to a series called Key Concepts in Corpus Linguistics. The topic for this screencast is Comparing Frequency Across Corpora. In Corpus Linguistics, it's often useful to compare corpora in terms of frequency. But looking at this example here, we only know that the word season is more frequent in Corpus 2 than in Corpus 1 if the two corpora are the same size. So this is what you call raw frequency, simply how often the word or linguistic feature occurs. We can use raw frequencies for comparing corpora that have the same number of words, but often we need to compare frequencies across corpora of different size. Then we need to consider normalized frequencies, that is, frequencies per number of words. For example, let's say corpus 1 has 30,000 words and the raw frequency of the word season is 124. The normalized frequency then is 124 divided by 30,000 times 10,000, which is 41.3, and that is the frequency per 10,000 words. If corpus 2 has 100,000 words and the raw frequency of the word season is 300, the normalized frequency then is 300 divided by 100,000 times 10,000, which is 30. So the frequency here is 30 times per 10,000 words. So we can see that in fact, the word is more frequent in corpus 1 and less frequent in corpus 2, even though corpus 1 has the lower raw frequency. So, one way of comparing corpora is normalization. Whether or not we normalize per, per 100 words, 10,000 words, um, per 100,000 words, per million words, uh, whatever, uh, depends on the corpus size. So if my corpus is 50,000 words, I would normalize per 10,000 words. If my corpus is 500,000 words, I would normalize per 100,000 words. If my corpus is 5 million words, I would normalize per 1 million words. In any case, it is usually considered good practice to report both raw and normalized frequencies when writing up quantitative results from a corpus, as McEnery and Hardy have pointed out. In addition, another method is to look at the rank of words in a frequency list. So this is an example of word combinations and their rank in different corpora. One is a corpus of TV dialogue, one is a corpus of unscripted spoken English. Here we can see that I don't know is the most frequent in both corpora, whereas what are you is the second most frequent in the TV corpus, but only the 30th most frequent in spoken English. So the rank difference here, the difference between the rank of the word combination in the two corpora is 28. If we look at the other word combinations here, oh my god, and are you doing in particular seem to be more frequent in TV dialogue than in spoken English because both have a rank differences higher than 94. Here we're looking at the frequency of word combinations rather than individual words and these word combinations are also called anagrams or clusters but we can do the same um, with word forms. So to conclude there are two key ways of comparing corpora of different size normalized frequencies and rank differences. In addition, we can undertake what is called keywords analysis, but that is the subject of a different screencast. That's it, and here are the references.